What's going on, my fellow collectors? I'm back. And this is a collection update on my Gundam figures, guys. Well, Gundam model kits, I should say. Um, I've only been in the game for maybe a couple weeks now. Two or three weeks. No, maybe longer than that. Probably about a month almost. And I'm um, definitely feeling it, guys, because the collection is growing. And... Um, there are enjoyable uh, model kits to get into uh, as far as in, you know, enjoying the, just the all putting the pieces together, uh, building the inner frames of these kits, and, uh, you know, uh, basically uh, being able to articulate it and pose it pretty much almost any way you want. Um, so this is the collection. Bang, baby! Here is the latest of the Gundam figures, as you can see. And, uh, well, I keep calling them Gundam figures. I should say Gundam model kits. And these things is pretty fun to build, guys. Can't stress that enough. Uh, starting over here, you can see the, this is the MS-06S Zaku 2. Uh, we got the Marasai right here, RMS-108 Marasai. And these are the latest two editions that you just see in my previous unboxing. And sorry about the cut video, guys. Uh, iPhone ran out of space. But uh, here is the latest. That video was yesterday, too. Ain't no way I'm going to build these two bad boys and just that short period of time but uh yeah here is the latest right here this is the the uh master grade uh gundam one year war version and this is the nemo right here this is the grunt suit just wanted to show you guys some of the details on the back of these bad boys since i have these on uh, you know the, the turntable here I mean, articulation is just ridiculous. Can't stress that enough. Detail is superb. Just all the level of just different types of, uh, you know, gadgets these bad boys have. You know, from the movable thrusters to the easy storage of weapons along the armor. It's just amazing. As you can see, this is the turn A Gundam right here. And all these are based off, uh, you know, animations, Japanese animations that were done maybe some time ago. And they just put them into a master grade scale. Uh, my next level to, to these kits is to learn how to airbrush. I'm going to jump right into airbrush and I don't want to use spray cans and markers and stuff like that. I'm just going to learn how to get my airbrushing on and invest into an airbrush kit. Definitely looking forward to getting into this hobby right here. Because, um, you know, like I said, the other hobby that I'm into can get crazy expensive at times. And, you know, you treat yourself to like a model kit here and there. Don't take up that much space. As far as in boxes, I don't think I'm going to keep the boxes, um, Speaking of space, because, uh, you know, once these things are pretty much built, you know, you build them to keep them forever and not sell. And, you know, and, and, and you know, you're not really worried about a value on these model kits because they are just mass produced like crazy anyway. So, you know, they are never really, I don't think, really worth too much when you get them, as far as I know of, because these are some old kits right here that I'm looking at. You know, some been out. Phew, you know, I would say maybe in 2005, some of them may have came out 2010. You know, I think uh, this probably came out 2010. I think this was, was one of the 100th master grades made. And um, so they don't really go too much in value. You can still get them for like pretty much a retail price. You know, because of, you know, you're basically just putting them together and building them or whatever. And you customize them to how you want. Now, 
probably painting these bad boys and customizing them. You know, you might have someone that might want to buy them or whatever, but, um, you know, it's strictly just, I think, a hobby just for fun and enjoyment and not really trying to flip or, you know, make money out of, you know, investing-wise with your collectibles. <laughs> you know, some people might buy a certain type of action figure and never open it up or whatever. Nah, I don't think that works with these. These boxes aren't even sealed up, first of all, so. Well, the flat, the flat pieces are, but, you know, the boxes aren't sealed, so. But, uh, yeah, so this is the latest in the collection, and I'm ready to upgrade, and since I'm ready to upgrade, here's my latest kit that I haven't built yet. And bang, baby, here he is. This is the PMX00 VO. Yeah, this is the big one, guys. It's a big one, prototype suit. So, um... I believe this was in the anime. I didn't see the anime, so I don't know. I just thought it looked pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I actually had to have it in the collection. You know, at least one of these monstrous mobile suits. And I'm looking forward to building it. As you can see, uh, just beautiful details going on with this mobile suit. As you can see all along the side. I'm sure, it's a lot of pieces to go into this bad boy. You know, with your decals and, you know, the dry, the dry or water decals and everything. But, uh, yeah, like I said, guys, I'm new to this hobby and I'm definitely enjoying collecting these bad boys. Um, I think it's something that was way overdue. I've always wanted to get into Gundam model kits, you know, and uh, I always thought you had to add glue. But these are pretty much snap kits, so, uh, you know, once you build them, you can even keep them like this. Or you can go to the next level and paint in these bad boys. And that's where I would like to go to, the next level. I mean, adding weathering and all that type of goodness. And if you guys know me, you know I collect 3A16 figures. So, I would definitely like to see some nice 3A type weathering done to these bad boys. Yep. And also even go as far as maybe, uh built in some type of diorama for you know certain ones because if you look right here this platform right here you can build a diorama along this thing I mean not this actual platform but if you have enough space like how you know this the size of this platform you definitely can get some uh, diorama building going on you know as far as in getting stuff to the scale of these model kits I don't know but I will look into it you know and seeing what it's about because this is a one one hundred scale and you're talking pretty small. I mean this is the this is how it would be. This is actually a figure that can be painted. But uh if it was a person standing next to this bad boy. So this is actually one of the pilots to the other mobile suit in the back. But uh yeah, so as you can see, you know, these things are like giants. You know, it'd be standing as tall as trees. And actually, let me show you what this guy looked like with the cockpit right here. If I can get it open with one hand. Probably not. Probably not, because these cockpits are pretty hard to open if you ain't got both hands trying to open them up. But, uh, oh, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it. There you see, guys. <laughs> So there you have it right there. I mean, you can see the small little guy inside there. And I could just see some awesome diorama building on, like some post apocalyptic type time. Like, you know, uh, destroying buildings and, you know, turned over, crushed cars and all types of loveliness around these guys. With just a touch of realism with the paint applications used. Oh my gosh. Definitely can be on to something lovely. Alrighty, collectors. So just wanted to share the latest in the collection. Stay tuned for my latest build coming soon, which is the VO, actually. And um, like I said, I'm enjoying this Gundam 
model kit hobby, the master grades. I'm only going to do master grades because there's other type of uh, grades out there. You know, you have a real grade, you have a perfect grade, and I'm going to stick with just, I like this size scale. It's not too big, not too overwhelming, you know, um, and basically just stay with the master grades because master grade, I think, is one of the only, well, besides a perfect grade, I think, that actually shows you an inner frame basically uh you know how you can see all this inner frame right here the other grades don't show you inner frame work so you know so if you even wanted to go as far as building two kits and having one display with the inner frame that would probably be awesome you know depending on how your display is but uh yeah guys just wanted to share the latest of the, the collection and it's going to be definitely growing so stay tuned for more Alrighty, Moogie215, and I am signing out. Peace.